Hello, Bengals. We are experiencing unparalleled times. I am thinking nonstop about the entire Idaho State University family as we respond to something that our campus, our state, and our nation have not experienced in our lifetime. And I'm reminded that communities are often defined by how they respond to a crisis. And our Bengal community is responding by supporting each other. I would like each and every one of you to know that the safety of our campus community is still our primary concern. This is why we have undertaken these additional measures to ensure the safety of our faculty, our staff, and our students. Let me start by saying this. Idaho State University is still open. We are still here supporting our students. That will not change. We are taking important measures to comply with the guidance issued by the Centers for Disease Control. These include avoiding gatherings of 10 or more individuals, moving our dining options to takeout and delivery, encouraging all employees that reasonably can to work from home, and we are keeping our critical infrastructure up and running, including keeping our campus open. To our students, we are continuing to work with our residential students living in student housing to help with this crisis. For those on-campus residential students that can safely move to their more permanent home, we encourage you to do so. For those of you that cannot, we will be here to support you. We may have to relocate some of our resident students to address the density of our housing, but we will still be here to help you. Please be assured that when classes reconvene on March 30th by distance-based instruction, you will still be involved in a productive learning environment. There will be barriers and issues. It's not going to be perfect on day one. But I know that our faculty are committed to working through those issues for you. Our faculty care. That is something built into the heart of Idaho State University. And it is with the heaviest of hearts that we made the decision to not hold the in-person graduation related activities as planned. After consulting with public health professionals, we felt this was a truly necessary step. Believe me, we wouldn't have done it if it wasn't necessary. But it's to ensure the well-being of our campus community. But let me tell you, this in no way diminishes your achievements. Your graduation is still the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and tenacity. And please know the university is working right now to implement alternative ways of celebrating you and your accomplishments. We will still celebrate you, just not in the traditional way, at least not at the end of this semester. We will provide you with updates in the very near future on this. Now, would like to spend a moment talking to our faculty. Your resilience, adaptability, and commitment to our students during this time has truly moved me. Thank you. I know that adjusting to distance-based instruction is not easy, and I'm proud of your resourcefulness. I know I have asked a lot of you. In some cases, I've asked for something that some people thought was not possible. But I know you can do it, that we can do it and I know you will deliver for your students. If you do need assistance or support, please reach out to the Information Technology Resource Center, the IRTC, or reach out to the Office of the Provost. During this time, we are here to support you. You deliver to our students our core mission of education, and I cannot thank you enough for that. And to all, Idaho State University employees, faculty and staff alike to everyone. It is important that we begin in earnest to identify viable options for telework and work from home options to, for all employees where it is feasible. The Department of Human Resources has developed a number of tools to support managers and department heads in making this adjustment. I am charging every department to embrace reasonable telework and work from home options. And when you are at work, you need to practice social distancing. We all need to do our part. Please know that these times might be scary, frightening, daunting. And these measures may seem extreme, but our goal in all of this is to ensure the safety and well-being of our community. It's worth it. Because the way we come together in a crisis to support each other, to care for each other, and move through this together will define us as a community. 
We will not be overcome by panic and selfishness, but rather we will rally around our interconnectedness and our duty to each other, to each of us. I am so proud and overwhelmed by emotion, by the resiliency I have seen. I have seen the heart of this university. You are the epitome of the Bengal spirit. I'll be in touch again soon. Thank you.